The Tarrant County Appraisal District is having their secret election again. Yes, this is the election with all the scandalous past. I want to tell you about what's going on and what you can do to help because I need your help. This election needs your help. Every two years, the Tarrant County Appraisal District holds an election to decide who's going to oversee all of the operations and the budget and everything that goes on at the appraisal district. And that election is happening right now. Well, let me give you a little snapshot back into time. Two years ago, the last time this election happened, it was the first time I became aware of the election. And I noticed that there were some things that just didn't seem right. For instance, the one thing was that a, a high-ranking employee at the appraisal district simultaneously held a, an elected position at a school district. And so the, the only people that can vote in these elections are the cities and the schools. So this guy was able to help nominate and vote on effectively who his boss was going to be at the appraisal district. It's, it's really messed up. And so uh, I reached out to State Representative Matt Krause. He wrote a bill that outlawed that conflict of interest. The uh, person that I'm talking about resigned from his school board or his school district position, and he never broke the law. He, as soon as that law went into effect, he resigned. And the guy probably didn't have any ill intent, but still, when you have a, a situation like that with a conflict of interest, um, it, it's now illegal. Now the things are getting cleaned up. Well, that made me think, gosh, there's something going on with this election. Why do people care so much about it and what's going on? There's so much at stake, it seems, but there's so little information out there about it, going on about it. And then I saw how the election unfolded. What happened was the larger taxing entities played a role in um, working within the legal guidelines to use the timeline of how the votes were cast to basically pick and choose who they wanted to get elected. And it would basically cancel out all the other votes. And it was just dirty as all get out. And so what I did again, is I knocked on Mr. Matt Krause's door. I said, hey, here's a problem. And he said, yeah, that looks like a problem to me. He went ahead and drafted a bill in this past legislative session when 90% uh, of the property tax reform bills got voted down. This was one of the few that got passed. And Mr. Krause isn't going to get any credit for this. So I make sure to give him credit because he went to bat for us and he was just doing the right thing. This wasn't about getting votes or anything else like that. So anyway, he pat got this bill passed that closed the loophole on how they were manipulating this timeline. So now we're seeing the effects of that. Uh, this year, is that the election is happening again. The, the, the uh, conflict of interest is gone. The, um, the way the election was rigged because of the, the timeline loophole thing, that's gone. And so now I refuse to let this election end without people knowing what's going on. The folks at the taxing entities need to know that we're watching and we want them to place votes for good candidates because we need good candidates on this board. And so I decided to take action. I contacted each and every one of these candidates and I offered for them to interview with me. And I recorded several of the interviews. I had five candidates take me up on the offer. And to be honest with you, I really like all five candidates. They're awesome. However, two of those candidates are active sitting board members right now. We see the track record. We know what they've done. They bring new ideas. These two candidates are not afraid to dissent. They bring new ideas. They're not, they're not afraid to hold the appraisal district accountable. And I believe that they are really acting on behalf of the taxpayer. And I love it. So what I would like to do is to do everything within our power to try and make sure that these guys get reelected. And so that's what I'm doing here. As a citizen, I'm taking action. I'm calling on you to take some action. And if we can all just send an email or two, then I think that collectively together, we can make a big impact. And so here's the plan. There are three tax entities that will decide this election for the most part. And so uh, I want to ask you to send an email to these taxing entities, just telling them that you want to, you want them for them to vote for the candidate of your choice. You want them to, to vote for these two candidates. And I'm going to leave instructions 
uh, below. I'll leave instructions on my website. All you have to do is send an email and say, please vote for these candidates. They'll at least know that we're watching. Even if they don't vote our way, we give ourselves a chance and we're taking this thing out of the shadows. We're helping make sure that people know that we're watching what's going on and we do care about what's how they place their votes. So uh, if you could just take that action, follow the instructions below, then that would be wonderful and we'll do our part.